welcome back to my channel so it's been a while since I've done a chatty video with you guys so I thought I'd do one for you guys today um, showing you guys how I been styling my hair lately if you guys have been wondering yes I chopped off my hair um, if you guys have noticed um, my hair was lightened and so the bottom portion of my hair was just really light brown and then like it kind of cut off like right here in this area to like black and my hair is naturally black so the transition was just really bad and I just wanted to just chop it all off and plus I had a lot of split ends and I just wanted to get rid of it and kind of start fresh and I've had short hair before so this is nothing new to me so I wanted to show you guys today how I've been styling it recently um, and kind of like walk through the whole like process prepping it and like styling it afterwards so yeah let's get started so i already have my hair straightener ready to go i don't like using a curling iron because it's a lot harder for me to reach uh the back of my neck area so i use a hair straightener and it's ready for me to use um if you guys are wondering what brand this is this is from pyt and it was from one of those little kiosks like standalone kiosks at the mall and it was just one of those times where they they got me they sold it to me and i bought it for like 80 bucks because i thought i was getting a good deal and um yeah i actually bought this i think i bought this like what four years ago and it still works great um really nothing special about it it works just like any other hair straightener so the first thing I do is prep my hair with some heat protectant because you don't want to damage your hair with a lot of heat. So whenever my hair is dry, I like to go in with my heat protectant spray from Chi. And then whenever my hair is damp, I like to use the heat protectant cream from Bumble and Bumble. So I'm just going to go ahead and spray some heat protectant in my hair. Just lightly. So now I'm just going to go ahead and clip my hair back. What I like to do is I like to alternate with the curls so um, that way it kind of stays kind of poofy whereas if you're curling it all the same way it's just going to kind of like mold in together and look flat. So I'm just going to alternate curls. So for example this one I'm going to be curling away from my face. Okay, towards my face. Side note, I'm not a hairstylist or whatever. Um, I just do whatever works for me. So I find that this method works for me a lot. And if you can't get the like all the pieces, that's okay. Because this is going to be in the bottom. No one's going to see it. And then basically, I just keep going. Um, I do section off my hair by layers, so that way it's just a lot easier. So this one I'm going to curl towards my face. Maybe it's easier if I do this. There you go. And for me, I like loose curls. I don't really like tight curls because then my hair gets like too poofy. So I like the loose curls. If you find that the curl is too curly, just kind of pull it down like that and leave it for a few seconds and then it'll, it'll loosen up a little bit. So I'm just gonna leave that like that because I want loose curls. I feel like I'm going to burn myself. Now I'm going to move on to a new section of the hair. Okay. 
Ugh, I hate doing the back. <sighs> so now I'm just gonna do the last section of my hair. Since my hair is parted to the side, um, I like to curl the last few strands away from my face, like this. See, so yeah, I'm curling away from my face. So when I'm done, I kind of just like running my hands through everything, just to kind of like get it all mixed up and get the curls all volumey and I mean once you get kind of like a style of what you like you can just set it in place with some hairspray and the hairspray that I'm using is from L'Oreal and this is their locket bold control hairspray and also since I have um like day one hair I kind of like that dirty like gritty feeling in your hair so I like going in with this down and out dirty spray from IGK and all you have to do is just like spray it in your hair and it adds like that day three feeling to your hair which is like really awesome especially if whenever for me like whenever I take a shower and I, I let my hair air dry like it gets really flat and it's really fine this is gonna add like a lot of texture and volume to your hair so what I do is I just kind of like shake it and spray it there just a few shots and then to the other side Ooh. and here and then even to the back of my head And all you have to do is just kind of run your fingers through. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and set everything in place with some hairspray. Just kind of. Ooh, I kind of. This is kind of like my thing whenever I do, like, I spray my hair afterwards. I kind of like shake my head like this so like it gets it catches the volume if you guys if that makes sense so just a few shots and shake 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 okay, so once you've got that done kind of just like piece it together and then And then you're pretty much done. So yeah, this is my hair. I hope you guys like um, this tutorial. I really like my hair short like this because I don't know, I just feel like it's so much easier to manage and it's just easier to maintain. If you guys like it or whatever, um, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Um, I really like it so so yeah um also don't forget to follow me on instagram twitter and snapchat i'll leave all the links down below i'll also leave links um to where you guys can find all of the hair products that i mentioned down in the link below as well um again don't forget to like and subscribe i will see you guys in my next video bye